Hi, this is Bruce with Huntsaker Home Hacks. Please subscribe to the channel and ring the bell for future notifications. So today we're going to talk about a blind driver. That's right, a blind driver. No, not a guy that can't see driving a car. So this is the Benesmart blind driver. It drives your blinds, opens them, and closes them. It's the AM43 blind driver. That's right. We're also going to install these guys on my blinds. Why? My blinds are not the typical blinds. That's right. Mine are more of a pull cord that you pull one cord down and you pull down the other cord. And they have thin little cords running. And this blind driver runs on a thicker cord, a ball cord, or a thick cord. And since mine do not have a thick cord, we're going to have to make it do. So this is our modification. What are we going to do? We're going to open this box. We're going to see what's inside. We're going to test this puppy out. Okay, people. Now we have another edition of What's in the Box. This is a blinds driver from Benix Mart. AM43 blinds driver. Let's open the box. Cue the music, Phil. We have an instruction manual. We have anchor and screws. A power source. A solar power source. Three individual gearing. Some 3M tape. And the driver itself. So what did we get in the box? We got an instruction manual, 3M tape, anchors, a power source, a solar power source, three individual gears, and the Benex Smart driver itself. Let's look at the driver. Now the driver has a good deal of weight to it, so that means there's a battery in it. This little piece comes off here, or you can tape it up right here to your with your 3M tape to be able to pull off and put on so like something like that now once you install it you will not be able to use the ports yourself if it's hooked up to the driver so normal manual operation is not suggested as I said it feels solid this panel right here has a nice metal driver, which you put these nice little guys on. And you have one for large balls, small ball pulls, and corded ball pulls. That's right. And we have a little solar panel that you can stick onto your window, which then can power the battery or you can use a power cord to power the battery. Okay. So there's the blind driver. And as you can see, I've installed plastic beaded cords to drive it. If you look at the actual driving cords, they are very thin. So they didn't work with the uh, core driver so you couldn't put a thick core driver with those thin cords initially I was going to use this but these are too small and they get stuck in between the driver when you're trying to drive it so for ten dollars I bought a bag of beaded cords with thicker balls and more space between the cord so as you can see, this is a little bit thicker than that, and they don't get stuck in the driving gear. So now, we're going to need to do the next step, and the next step is, alright, so now that we have the driver perpendicular to the cords itself 
we need to install it into blind driver app or the blind engine is what the app is called which we have now pre-installed into our phone our device and as of right here we now have it so we're going to go to blind and it says don't expose to direct sunlight choose the proper cord etc 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 which we've done and we've now installed it so we're going to say it's installed correctly and we need to put the blind password in 888 confirm all right so now we have the blind and we can slide up by style and we're just going to select the Venetian because it's the one main one and those are pretty much Venetian blinds but large Venetian blinds and then we can go in and set the upper limit so we're going to slowly take this up say this is the upper limit right there all right and we're going to save it now we're going to go set the bottom limit and we're going to go down to close save the bottom one all right and then we're going to look at the motor speed setting we're going to set this to a little bit right, 20 right now so we'll set it to 35 and we're going to save it all right so now we got that we don't have a winter summer mode and we're not going to do that blind timing list delete device we're pretty good there so now we're ready to use the blind and it says we're connected so we're going to start by opening the blinds And the blind is open. So at that speed, it seems to move okay with the little blind poles that we've added. But it's a little bit more noisy so let's go in here and see if we can kind of adjust that because i think a slower speed would actually sound less intrusive so we're going to choose 25 uh 24. now we're going to go back we're going to so now we're all the way closed there we go we're already closed So let's open it midway. Not too bad. There's a little clicking still. For the most part that's not bad not bad at all so now with the application we can see a few different things with the control device we can control the blind through either 
using your finger on that button to up and down the device. Or you can tap and hold the device. Or you can tap and hold here. You can stop. You can bring it back down. Alright, so now that tells us pretty much that it works. It works good. Right now we have the solar panel hooked up right here on the window. You can see the solar panel right there. And that's cool. So what have we done today? We installed the driver itself and we installed the Benham Smarts uh, driver into the app. And from here we can control it via Bluetooth. So all we have to do is finish it off. How do we do that? We install this guy right here. Now the blind driver is installed completely and it's able to be controlled with the application. that's pretty cool okay so we're gonna test the blind driver out and as you can see they're closed and we'll walk backwards to the other side of my house and now we're against the wall And as you can see, they are open. Now we'll walk all the way back. Still keeping connection. The battery percent percentage has only dropped to 1% on the driver. And we're all the way back against the wall again. And now we'll close the blinds. And we'll walk over there. There we go. The blinds are closed. Not too bad. And I can see the blind driver in action. That's right. The blind driver from Benesmart in action. What do I overall think? Well, considering that my blinds are unusual and they don't necessarily are designed to work with those blinds, I still was able to make it work. That's cool. So now I can control the blinds in my living room to open and close with my phone through Bluetooth. And is that Bluetooth good? That's a great Bluetooth signal. I was able to connect it and then go to the other side of my house and open and close the blinds from my family room, which is on the other side of my house. It's about 25, 30 feet. I would estimate as the crow flies. So that's a good connection for Bluetooth. That's awesome. Um, on top of it, my wife wants to be able to see the bougainvillea on that window because it's a very pretty little bougainvillea that we have planted out there. And it makes her happy. So a happy wife, a happy life. That's cool too. Overall, for the money, you can control seven blind drivers with one application. That's cool. So. In the future, I plan on doing another video where I'm controlling three blinds with three different drivers. That's awesome. But at this point in time, I have just the one. It's a very nice blind driver. Well constructed. Um, my battery usually sits about 69 to 70% at the current amount of sunlight that we have using the solar panel. But that's not an overall big concern because you also have inside of the box, you 
have a power supply right here a power supply you can plug this into your wall and it will control that battery and take it all the way up to 100 percent all the time um, i used the double-sided tape to connect it to my wall i didn't drill holes so the double-sided tape will work just fine for control mounting the benesmart for the most part this is a pretty silent running driver. It's quiet. You just hear a slight motor noise, and then it does what it has to do. Not very loud at all. Um, because of the way that my cords are, it does cause a little bit of slippage in the larger beads going around this cord. But other than that, no big deal. It works with many different styles of lines. Uh, I happen to have lines that it wasn't designed for. So for the money, um, this is unstoppable, unbeatable. It's cheap. It's not cheaply made, it's just cheaply priced. If you're looking for a blind driver, I would suggest taking a look at the Benesmart blind driver. That's right, the Benesmart blind driver. I put a link below where you can find it, along with all the specs and details. This is Bruce with Huntsaker Home Hacks. Please subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for future notifications, and I will see you soon.